Greetings everyone. Welcome to my another YouTube tutorial series for Discord bot. I'm your host as usual, Nishat, aka Dev Striker. In today's video, we will install and set up some of software that will help us get up running and working with Discord bot. So let us get started now. Open up your browser and open a tab and you want to go to the python.org and first thing we're going to download the python itself so let's go to download and click python the latest version that you have and it should start downloading so i'm going to go ahead and pause mine once you have downloaded go ahead and open Make sure to select add Python 3.9 to the path and go ahead with install now. I'll go ahead and pause. And once you have finished, go ahead and close. And I'll close this tab. On my next tab, I will install an IDE where I can write a piece of code in order to interact with my Python language itself and overall all the libraries that is required for discord.py or discord board in this case. So I'll go ahead and install this. Feel free to use any other text editor or IDE that you feel like to do so. I'll scroll down and I'll find the community edition. I'll go ahead and download. and it should start downloading and here we have PyCharm downloading so I'll go ahead and pause and once you have finished downloading go ahead and open click next and your destination folder if you would like to change go ahead and do, do so i'll go forward with it and i will select all of them and go ahead and install and the installation has finished go ahead and select the reboot now it's good to do so and click finish and finally, we're going to install Discord application to our local machine. Before doing so, you should also sign up if you haven't signed up for Discord and um, because we're going to log in later. So let's go ahead and download that. And I will pause here. And once you have opened the downloads, go ahead and do the installations as you can see on the screen once I have opened my downloads it's doing all these updates and whatnot so I'll go ahead and pause once you have successfully installed go ahead and log in with your credentials I will do that with mine once you have logged in you will most likely to get prompt to create a server and if not then you can follow along with me how to create a server. So we'll go ahead and create a server. Um, pick the one that suits you. For me, I'm just going to go with this. And I'll select this and I'll leave as it is. Feel free to write whatever you like. And uh, yeah, that's it. That should do for this part. And now what we're going to do we're going to kick quickly create our bot applications and come back and do set up our project folders in PyCharm. Open up your browser, go to discord.com, scroll down all the way, find the developer sections. On developer sections, go ahead and select applications and 
if you are new then you're most likely to be in the same positions as me so i'll go ahead and create new application i will call this tutorial tutorial bot and I'll quickly go down to the bot sections I'll go ahead and add a bot yes I did and there you go we have a bot so now we're going to invite this bot to our server so and for that, there are some permission to give our bot. So what permission this bot will have, I'll go ahead and select the administration for now. But in the future, if you're using this in public place, then please choose the permission wisely. And um, let's go to quickly to OAuth 2. And from here, I'm going to select the bot. And again, I'm going to go ahead and give the permission administrator. And now what I'll do, I'll go ahead and copy. And open another new tab. And let's paste and go. And it will prompt me to select a server. So I'll go ahead and select the server that I created for this tutorial and I'll go ahead and continue. And I'm happy with the permission the bot is asking for. And I'll go ahead and do the authorization. And once it's completed, it will prompt with the authorized. So I'll go ahead and close this one and go to general tab for now. And let's open our Discord application to see if the bot has been invited. And as you can see, the bot is here. So the tutorial boss hopped into the server so I can see the tutorial board and it's currently offline. So that's all good. If you have successfully followed through, then congratulations, you have your bot within your server. So now let's go ahead and create our uh, project folder so that we can get our bot up and running ASAP. As usual, here I have my PyCharm. So I'll go ahead and create new project. I will call this YouTube project. Go ahead and name your folder what you wish to do so. I will leave everything as it is. If you want to go ahead and follow along, that's absolutely fine. It looks good to me. So go ahead and create. And as we can see, our project has started. Uh, I will say don't show this tips for now. And I'll wait till my virtual environment is finished set up. And as you can see, our PyCharm is ready to go. Now, before we go ahead and do anything further on this, I just want to go back to my browser real quick. And back to my application. And go to the documentation sections of this page and I'll scroll down a little and you can see there's a topic sections and underneath there is a community resources so let's go ahead and select that and you can see there are libraries beautiful libraries are written by really really um, good community peoples those who are helping and developing building new stuff uh, to for discords and bringing new things every day uh, it, it is much appreciated to see such things around and you can see there are a lot of languages are supported such as c++ c sharp java javascript php ruby rust scala and etc i will not go ahead and name all of them but the one we're going to use particularly it's the python 
library, which is discord.py. And uh, let's go ahead and select that. This is a wonderful library for Python. And as you can see, we have landed to their GitHub page. I will scroll down a little. You can go ahead and explore this. This is a good piece of document and on the README. But the most thing I'm in, most interested in is the documentation. So I'll go ahead and select the documentation. However, I will leave this link down below in the descriptions for you to directly check it out. But it's good to walk through that, how you reached out to such thing. So this is the documentation. And we obviously going to go to the introduction sections and introduce ourselves to the discord.py uh, and install the prerequisites uh, library that is required in order us to interact with the bot that we're going to build on top of this. So let's go ahead and do that. So we will find out the installation for Windows as we are using. If you're using the any other operating systems, then go ahead and read and follow along. So what I'll do, I'll copy from here and go back to my PyCharm. And from there, I'll open the terminal. Now you can open your terminal um, separately or a command prompt in this case. If you don't have this ID, it's all good. So everything that I'm installing, it's going to be installed within this virtual environment that I have created using this ID, just to let you know. And if you're installing any packages globally, then you probably have to inherit those global packages uh, uh, or unless you have uh, by default access to them with any other ID or um, text editor. So I'll go ahead and paste here. And as you can see, it has started to install. Perfect. So it has successfully installed in our local environment. So let's go ahead to the documentation and let's scroll down. And it has got a few more instructions that if you create manually your virtual environment, then you can follow along um, this. And there are quick start examples has been given to us. So the the code piece of code that I'm going to type in, these are all can be found here. So they're based around all the code that are where provided the examples uh, the, 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 in, within the documentation that are provided um, has been utilized throughout this tutorial. So feel free to explore this. And I will be coming back and forth in order to address some of those uh, things that I'll be implementing further on. So now let's go back to our PyCharm. I'll we'll close this ahead. And uh, let's start building our folder structures. So the first folder I'm going to create, it's going to be assets. The next folder, it's going to be commands. And uh, that should do for this for this uh, tutorial and the uh, next tutorial. I'm just going ahead with this from now. And uh, on main.py, what I'll do is get rid of everything from here. And let's get rid of this red. And I'll start importing the libraries. Now, before going ahead and start our coding bits, I'm quickly going to install one more library that we will require throughout this project. So I'll go ahead and paste it here. So it is the python.env, so pip install python-env. 
I'll go ahead and push enter here and it will start the installation. And as you can see, it has successfully installed. So I can now go ahead and close and we can start on our coding bit. So let's go ahead and import some of this stuff that we will need. Import is called and we will import logging. And uh, from dot env import load dot env and then from discord dot ext extensions go ahead and import commands and that should do and now you can see that is saying it's not finding the discord so let's go ahead why is that the case because we have installed our packages and uh, there could be possibilities that it hasn't been installed so here we can see there is no package called per discord so we have python.env which we installed so let's go ahead back to the uh, documentation real quick and let's scroll down okay so as we created a virtual environment let's go ahead and install using the pip library so i'll go ahead and copy that if that's the issue that you're having then you can follow these sections and if you're not then congratulations again that you have successfully installed the library and as you can see that our package has started to install and I'm hoping that this should resolve our issue and it has resolved our issue. So now that we know when we use a virtual environment and which package to install. Okay, that's good. I will go ahead and close this and let's continue creating a class so class and I'll call this tutor real bot and within the bot we're going to take a commands dot cog and I'll explain what is cog in a bit so let's go ahead and initialize our method in it and which takes self and a bot and let's go ahead and there is an issue here let's have a look so tutorial bot defined in it okay and within there i'm going to say self dot bot is equal to bot right no more complaining Okay, reformat. And the first method that I'm going to write is when our bot turns on, it should greet our user. Skip off the developer. So for me to see if that bot has turned on, basically, that's what I mean. So let's go ahead and comment that out. And I'm going to say greetings. And let's do add commands.cog.listener. So we're going to call this decorator. And within there, we're going to say async define on ready. And it takes itself and we're going to print the bot is greeting us right so logged in as and we this is a string literal so we can use the methods and variables uh, functions and variables and whatnot so self dot bot dot user 
and I want the bot ID here. So I'm going to say self dot bot dot user dot ID. That's right. And it should be all good. And now we're going to initiate our bot. Um, so to do that, we would require um, some of the stuff um, such as um, basically adding the store extensions, the cogs, and um, enabling the token itself. So let's go ahead and do those real quick before we actually write our token. And I'll show you where to get the token from. So the first thing first, I'm going to enable the gateway intents, which we will require later on the tutorial. So gateway intents. And let's do intents equals discord dot intents yep, dot default right and let's do intents and uh, dot members that's the first one we can enable and set to true and then intents dot presents so the presents of it and equals to true so i'm going to set them to true basically and let's see what it's saying okay reformat not an issue then I'm going to set the bot prefix here. Do apologize for the typos. Uh, so bot prefix. So I'm going to say bot is equal to command dot bot. I'm going to say command dot underscore prefix equals to commands dot when mentioned so basically so if you mention the board it should return its uh, prefixes if I, if I correctly remember and then it should set our bot prefix so i'll go ahead and do that so I'm going to set my bot, bot, bot prefix as explanation mark. You go ahead and select question mark, whatever you like, or even set up a custom. So then I'm going to set a description. Descriptions equal to a simple tutorial bot. And go ahead and comma. And now we're going to initiate our instance with here. So intents equals intents perfecto. And uh, let's go ahead and see why there is an error. Okay, so there should be S here. And there's unnecessary space. And uh, what I can do, I can push this down. And it should be fine. Perfect. And uh, now one more thing um, to do, if I come back here, if you, re if you explore this documentation, this is really good. Um, I would say a decent uh, documentation compared to discord.js which is uh, I think a bit more fancier than this um, and um, you can see there are some suggestions first as a first steps um, to go through the inductions and then quick start and setting up a logging so we'll we'll actually gonna do that um, because it's good to do some logging of your uh, of your um, program because you don't want to end of the day play a guessing game with your debugging and and be more precise with your 
um, problem and finding a solution. So let's go ahead and do that. So I will comment here and say logging and do logo is equal to logging dot get logo and we're gonna get the discord then we're gonna say so you're gonna set the level for it and then it's gonna be the logging uh, dot debug and then you're gonna set the handler for it logging dot file handler and within there I'm gonna precisely give which file I want to lock this into so basically that will be discord dot log I'll go I'll I'll in a minute I'll go ahead and create that file so not to worry no panic there and coding is equal to I'm gonna set that to UTF eight pretty standard and mode to write now you can set this mode also to pet because if you don't want things to override anyone you are very really serious about it then go ahead and do that but I will go pretty basic here set formatter and then locking dot format and I'm going to format how my logging should look like. So these are escape sequence. So just go ahead if you are not really familiar with this, it is fine. Nothing to worry here. So I'm gonna set the time. And yeah, that should be correct. Then it's a string. And then let's do this. And then let's set the level name. And then again, it's a string. Okay. Right. And that should be fine. Just double checking. I have missed anything and the name and the modulus then I open and the message of the and a string and that should do it and um, just to let you know guys if I made any uh, mistake then these line price all available here again i did not in reinvent the wheel all i'm doing is just using some of them so just to let you know so logo dot add handler i'm gonna pass the handler here and now i'm going to load our token so you don't want to write your token here it's is it is as equal as to write your password of your social media in somewhere where it's everybody can see it so you don't want to do that right but again nothing is secure so don't have any ocd over it that you're going to not get broken into so let's not have that thought right anything can be broken so anyway so I'll go ahead and do that loading data from dot env file and I'm gonna load the dot env path and I'm gonna say a variable token is equal to os dot get env and the key is going to be token, which we will do with that in a bit. And now to our main method. Pretty standard.
and uh, yeah and let's add this to our the class or in the commands and whatnot part of this class to our cog so add cog and I'll pass in tutorial bot here and which takes a bot and then I'm going to say bot dot run and I'm going to pass in token here yes and that should be it at the basic level at this point so yeah let's go ahead and hit save we which we haven't done guys we should always save our work and uh, let's get the token right so go back to your browser back to the application portal and select the bot that we're currently using or you're using come to bot right here and there you can see there is a token for this bot right so guys be careful do not share this token this is not a social media post that you can do so let's go ahead and copy this it will have a huge consequences if you do so and uh, let's create a new file and we'll call this dot env yep and i want to call this token equals to this oh we had found some plugins it's a very smart id so let's go ahead and do that except while you do that i will go ahead and hit save oh it's asking me to restart to activate the plugin hmm. so i'll go ahead and do that and now we have completed our id wish come true that we have accepted is the invitation to install that plugin and restart our ID. So again, I'll go ahead and quickly save, close out of that. And I think we're ready to test our bot and see if we can get this to come online. So you can either select here on the right clicked to main.py and hit run if in case the main is not appearing here or something else is appearing here and then go ahead and hit play so make sure it's that's the file and we should get a message oh that We've got a lot of errors. Not bad, not good. Now, according to debug, I have selected the intents to be true. However, I did not have them enabled in my bot section. So you probably want to go to your bot and scroll down and you'll probably find them um, disabled so go ahead and enable both of these and go ahead and hit run and there we go it says our bot has come online and that's the bot name tag and the id and if that's the case let's go ahead and check on that on discord and we can verify that our port is online and uh, we're going to implement few more methods um, before we go ahead and do some commands actually where we type in and the bot responses to us or responds to us in this case so in the case of emergency 
if bot faints, then we want it to reconnect. So let's go ahead and do that. And it will take cell. And um, yeah, let's print to show that bot has got up, even if he might have gone down. Right, there are some issues. So on resumed, it's telling me. Thank you. Async define on resume. Yeah. And then we can say bot has reconnected. Right, this goes for reconnect. And next, what we're going to do is handle some of the errors. So you probably don't want your user to spark out by seeing some of those fancy little debug things that will pop up suddenly. So we don't want to scare them. For that, we're going to handle them. So handle. And uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's bring our decorator. And again, listener. We're going to say async defined on command error, which is going to take self. Very good ID. And for the time being, we want to see them, right? We're going to send them. Send the error and before that we also have to take error here and then error and the context to ctx and that should do it so we will send them whatever the error will come and we will handle them as we go and i will show you one example so not to worry on this one so yeah, to me, it looks good so far. And let's go ahead and add the reconnect here. Reconnect is equal to true. Perfect. So that shouldn't be a problem. Let's just quickly check at the log. We actually didn't look at it. And yeah, that's that's beautiful. So we have everything logged here. So there's no way to hide. Cool, perfect. And uh, now what we can do is create our first command and, um, and see that in actions because we want our bot to do something. So on commands, I'm going to right click and create a new Python file. And I'm going to name this Python file as utility. So utility. Right, on utility, what we're going to do is add this modules with the of the other one so they all will come like a modular itself and I, I, I love the, the thing about this and the way they kind of did this and that way you can always plug in something to your existing programs rather than having to re-architect your entire program and that's that's a really good thing here so from discord dot extension import commands I'm going to take a class utility 
and which will take commands dot cog. And here I'm going to define in a method which will be nothing but itself a bot, right? That's where we communicating self dot bot is equal to bot. Oops. Right. And now we're going to write our first command where the bot will respond to it. So I'm going to call the decorator commands dot command. And we're going to define an async. Which is a beautiful thing to see because I very majorly used async and away um, functions and so on in JavaScript. Uh, but it's good to see the async and away kind of implemented here. Go ahead and read about this. It's written in all in the documentation. CTX. Gonna see await CTX dot send. And we're gonna send pong. So our command is gonna say ping. And then our bot should say pong. That's all we want. Now, what we're going to do is that add this, all of this, to the cog um, with some new functions. The function is going to say uh, call itself a setup function. And I'm going to say the bot and bot dot add underscore cog. And we're going to say utility, utility, and it takes bot perfecto let's reform it and that should do it now this will not work yet because our bot doesn't know that this has been added so there's something um, in the documentation you probably like to come across so if I go to discord.py and um, it's a sort of a extension sort of uh, loading extension load extension so basically you can load and load extension and you can do reload too so you can perform both at the same time. Now the problem is that it, it is not loading automatically here. And for, for such thing to um, probably to achieve here is to write um, some sort of uh, our logic that will enable us to do sort of like a hot reload, right? So we will be able to reload it automatically as soon as our program is loaded. So we're going to do that, but please do go ahead and read the documentation. So we're going to iterate through our files, which is the commands itself, and get the only files that has the extension of Python, and get the name of the file, and then load them as an extension, if that makes sense, right? So I'm going to say full file name in os dot list dir which is this directory and the directory we're looking for is commands perfect and uh, yeah let's go ahead and do check if file name dot ends with uh, it should end with .py, which is Python extension. And if that is the case, then go ahead and load the extension. Right. And I'm going to take f string literals here. I'm going to say commands dot and the name of the file with that and I'm going to slice it without the dot extension so 
minus 3. So it's 0, 1, 2, 3. Cool. And yes, that should do it. So I'm just going to go ahead and comment here. I'm going to say load extension. And now when we hit play, it will automatically load the file. And hopefully that is the case. So let's go ahead and save all and hit start. And hopefully our bot should come online. Yes, let's go to Discord real quick. And let's check the help command that is by default available. And you can see our utility with the ping, right? So if I do ping, pong, perfect. So guys, this was pretty simple. So I just wanted to get started. I'm going to go ahead and stop this. I just wanted to get started with this. And um, if you have, pro you have seen tons of videos online probably on this. Uh, but I try to do things a little bit um, slightly different to my uh, best understanding. Um, so before you rage over my video, I hope you understand and I try to share as much as knowledge on this. And um, I hope this was useful.